behalf of Queensberry Promotions in association with Eddie Hearns Matchroom Boxing. Along with our great sponsors, Riot Season, 32 Red, and Unibet. Tickets can be purchased through AXS.com, and this great event will be shown live on TNT Sports. Let's now welcome our participants already seated. Jermaine, the Kundalini King, Osborne Edwards. Ethan, Jamie James. Ezra, the Cannon Taylor. Ben, the Bomber Vaughn. Echo, the Engine Esuman. Lewis Williams. Patricia Burgold. Chantel Il Capo Cameron. Shabazz, the Maverick Masood. Liam, Dangerous Davis. And now we hand things over to your host, Mr. Dev Sani. <laughs> thank you, thank you Thomas Triver as well. Let's clap Thomas as well, wonderful intros as ever. MC coming through, Thomas Triver. Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Birmingham. It's a, a Birmingham belter on Saturday night. I can't wait for this fight. It's been building up very, very nicely. Plenty of needle, plenty of words exchanged for your main goal. <coughs> Liam Davis, unbeaten. Former English champion, former British champion, former European champion, and now the IBO world champion. He sits there and he defends his crown against an also unbeaten man, Shabazz Massoud, who holds a couple of amateur wins over Liam Davis, comes here representing Matchroom against Queensbury, and comes here wanting everything that Liam Davis has. It's a brilliant, brilliant main event. Everything that British boxing's about. The Chief Support, one of the best fighters in the world today, Chantel Cameron. She's back and it's a tough test. Patricia Burgel, former world champion, brilliant amateur, and it's a proper, proper fight for Chantel on Saturday. And as you can see from this table here, there's a, a lot to get excited about on the undercard, including a professional debut of Commonwealth Games gold medalist Lewis Williams here. Uh, we'll be live from 7 o'clock TNT Sports on Saturday night at 5.30 just before that on the Queensbury YouTube page for three undercard fights. Let's start talking about these fights then. Let's start in the welterweight division where we've got an eliminator for the English welterweight championship. The Northampton man Ethan James looking to bounce back from the first career defeat. Uh, he's coming back against Wolves man here. Jermaine Osborne Edwards, known as the Kunda, Kundalini King. Uh, and I'm going to start with you, Jermaine. This is, a, this is a step up for you. You've been on the small halls very much. This is the BP Pulse Live on Saturday. This is TNT Sports. And this is a very good fighter here in Ethan James. Tell us what you're thinking. Um, he's a good fighter, but he's time done, man. It's time to move over, man. Let the veteran step up. Is that that I've had enough? You know, it's my turn. What is it that Ethan James should be worried about? Because I, I can see the belief, I can see the confidence. Everything. I'm a dangerous fighter. I'm not even here for no payday. I'm here to win. I'm ready for war. Yeah, we're going to war, and that is that. He's a very good fighter, very skilled Commonwealth yeah. youth gold medalist. He's very good. Doesn't mean nothing. Well, Ethan James, let's bring you in. Doesn't mean anything, uh, your amateur credentials. This man's come for war. What are you thinking? Yeah, he's right. It don't mean anything. I saw it in the past, just like my, my fight recently is in the past, and I'm only looking forward. And uh, I think you're going to see the best of me. I'm hungry. I've lost something, and I want to get it back. How much is that hunger <clears throat> burning? How much is that desire in you? It's been burning for the last six months. I wanted to get straight back into a good competitive fight. 
no easy fights and I'm, I'm getting out of an undefeated fire and then I'm going to be pushing on and I'm going to be bringing some more belts back to Northampton. What do you think about your opponent here? He's, uh, it looks like he's ready to go. Yeah, just as much as I am, I'm ready to go, so it's going to be, it's going to be a good night Saturday night. Dangerous fight, you shouldn't have took the fight, mate. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Is it too? Is it too? Is it too much then, uh, Jermaine? Do you think you you could just? Uh, you're 11 years older than this guy here. Is this man versus Age boy? ain't nothing. Yeah, it's just a number. I'm just as fit as these young lads, and I'm ready. Yeah, I'm on your feet for a reason. Ooh. How do you see this fight playing out, Ethan? Me winning. Simple as that. I'm, got, I'm the best me's gonna turn up. I've never been more hungry for a fight. So I hope he turns up to come and give me a fight because that's You're what he's going to sleep, me. mate. What, night, night. Night. You've got one more soccer to me, mate. I don't think either of us are going to sleep. Yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah. Ask, <laughs> Owen, ask Owen Cooper how you get some, mate. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> cool. Smell the fear. I've got the gods and the ancestors coming through me. Know this. You're going to need everyone Saturday night. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Jermaine, what can you tell me about your nickname? Because I, I did, did a little Google, Kundalini King. It's, it's about some sort of a awakening it's a, it's of power. A spiritual awakening that I had. Um, and I rose up Kundalini and um, I turned my life around, basically. I was, I was partying and doing all kinds of stuff like the week before. And then I started meditating. And then I had a spiritual awakening. And I said to my mum and dad, I want to be something. This is what? This is professional boxer. And then three years later, I'm here. I haven't looked back since. And what's the plan on Saturday? Just, are you just too rough for I'm, this guy? I'm here to do the business. That's what I'm here to do. And it's game over for him. He's not going to like getting in there with me. I promise you that now. <laughs> Let's just get the final word from you on this fight. Uh, apparently you're not going to like being in there with this, this hungry Jermaine Osborne Edwards. What, what are you thinking? Yeah, everyone says the same thing. Everyone's hungry on fight week. Everyone's wanting to fight. Just as much as he, he's not going to be wanting to get him on me, I feel like fucking ping him because of the 10 rounds. So. Nonsense. <laughs> you got no power in you, mate. Don't need to, I'm going to outschool you for 10 rounds, mate. Mate, you, mate, mate, you ain't, you've got nowhere to run. So all you do is run. Me, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, mate. <laughs> we will see. That is a, a <laughs> English title eliminator in the welterweight mm -hmm. division. Ethan James, Jermaine Osborne. Edwards on Saturday night. Great, great start to the press. It's good when they start. Uh, we've got a brilliant light heavyweight division in this country right, right now, as we know, and there's upsets going on all over the place. There's controversy going on all over the place, as I'm sure we've seen in recent weeks as well. And there's a fighter here right in front of me who's, who's building his name and he's knocking on the door. He'll be there in these big fights very, very soon. Unbeaten Ezra Taylor, WBC, international lightweight champion and uh, Ezra it's a 10 round of you on Saturday against a, a tough Latvian who's coming over and we've seen in recent weeks these Latvians don't come over to lay down uh, tell us what you're thinking about this fight um, I couldn't even toss it from to be honest um, I'm ready uh, my opponent changed unfortunately I was ready to fight a 10 and 0 guy but again just another body for me man um, like you said the light heavyweight scene right now is looking good it's looking tasty, I'm coming through, there's a lot of moving parts. I'm the biggest moving part, man, you're going to see that on Saturday. I keep hearing that, as you've mentioned, that opponents have been pulling out. It's not just this fight, it's happening, it's happening in other fights as well. Why does no one want the smoke from the cannon? Uh, um, I'm not too sure, man. I don't want to look at myself like that, but you could see me as maybe a high risk, low reward type for fighter or type of fight. But I'm getting to a stage where really, it doesn't matter the risk. You got a reward here, you can challenge me for my belt, I'm a champion. Um, but they still don't want it. But don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to a stage where you can't deny it. And after this fight, I'm looking past my opponent, but I already know what's going to happen on Saturday. I want the British trying to come over with titles after that. And you know he's got that. And so that's where we're, that's where we're heading. Well, I know who's got that. Louis Edmondson's got that after that win over Dan Aziz. Is this a kind of. I know you don't want to look past your man on Saturday, but that sounded to me a bit like a call out, Ezra. This guy's been calling me out, man. He's been in my DMs, he's been messaging me, and I didn't, I didn't even want to entertain it because he had no substance. But now he does. You know, if he done as he's one day, I, I, the target would have moved to him as well. I'm not here to chase opponents, I'm here to chase titles. 
he's the guy who's got the titles, he's got my titles. So I want to see him next. Um, like I said, not looking past this, a cliche and whatever else, but I'm going to do a demolition job on Saturday. And when I see Louis Edmondson, I'm going to punch his head in as well. Finally, Ezra, uh, listen, there's a lot of noise in your division as we've talked about. Why is yours the noise that we should all be paying attention to? Because I'm in it. <laughs> um, well, at the moment, like I said, um, it's catching fire, man. Light heavyweight is kicking off at the moment. We just seen Bertavia versus Bivol. And obviously, you got Watsi doing his thing. Willie Hutchinson, he's there too. There's so many people here. And I'm just really squeezing my way through. <coughs> but um, it's a process of elimination at this stage. I'm coming through at the right time, I believe. I've got the right attributes, I've got the right mindset. No, no mindset can compare to what I have right now. My hunger is getting even bigger each day. So that on its own is a scary sight. So yeah, I'm excited. It should be an exciting time for everyone else. Not if you're fighting me, but if you're, if you're watching, it's gonna be a fun time for sure. Great stuff, thank you Ezra Taylor. Back in action on Saturday night uh, against Chris Stapp's Ballmeisters who stepped in at late notice 10 rounds in the light heavyweight division. Let's move back down to welterweight and the return of Echo the Engine Esselman against an unbeaten young fighter coming through with Ben Vaughan. And if you haven't seen Echo's fight yet with Owen Cooper back in July, probably the fight of the year so far, certainly in, in the top three or four. Unbelievable fight, dramatic, where the engine was put down himself but came back to stop Owen Cooper in the final Round. And he's got a young buck here, Ben Vaughan, known as the Bomber, with a lot of momentum, who's just coming off two first round knockouts. And we're going to start with Ben Vaughan here. And, and Ben, I keep hearing that you are one of British boxing's best kept secrets. What can you tell us about this secret, Ben? So, uh, there's not much I can say really, it's just uh, I've got excited and uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to show what I can bring to, to uh, Saturday. So yeah, I'm just excited for it. It's going to be explosive, it's going to be exciting, and people have been tuning into this fight, for sure. It's a big step up uh, from the small halls to the big stage, TNT Sports. It's a big one against a guy who's been there, seen it, done it. He's, he's certainly not his first rodeo. Are you ready for a step up like this, Ben? I've been waiting for an opportunity like this for a long, long time, and the opportunities came, I grabbed it, and yeah, I can't wait to show everyone what I'm made of. Yeah, be prepared for a big shock. Well, let's bring in the engine, Echo Esselman, and uh, this is the second fight in a row now where you've got an opponent very much on the come up, very much coming to get what you've got. Uh, how are you feeling about this fight with Ben Vaughan on Saturday? Uh, firstly, thank you for having me again. It's good to be on the table. Uh, second fight with a young prospect coming up. <coughs> keep feeding me these guys because that's what keeps me going. That's the fuel for the, for the engine, for the fire. And um, when they bring out, uh, when they try and throw bombs and put bombs in the engine, that just sets me into different gears. That's when the spectre comes out. So careful what you wish for because you might get haunted in there. And Ben, feel free to interject. I don't know if you've had any kind of back and forth or any presses so far, but this is a very determined engine you have here. I don't know, I have a massive respect for Echo. I remember watching him when I was a youngster in the Amateurs. So yeah, I feel like this could be, this could be a great fight between us. Like we both have a great forward fighting styles. So yeah, I can't, can't wait to uh, have the opportunity to, to fight Echo and uh, improve their film run. I also step in there just say I do actually very much respect him because he's spent time, he served for the country, and that, that takes a lot of got his heart and whatnot, so he has my full respect and he's had that throughout my training camp, so you'll see what that means. Is it a potential banana skin here, Echo? Every fight is a potential banana skin, but you just have to be the best you and I'm um, raising my level, so what can I say? Ben, what did you think of Echo's fight with Owen Cooper? Uh, I thought it was, it was a good fight, it was definitely certainly exciting to watch. But there's things I've seen in the fight which I know I can capitalise on. Just know everyone, this is going to be, you thought the last fight was going to be a fight of the year contender. This fight, this Saturday, is definitely going to be a fight of the year contender, for sure. So yeah, everyone just be prepared for a big shock. It's my time. 
and I'm very distraught for him. Do you think you're getting a co-estimate at the right time? I certainly think so. Like I said, he's, he's got 35 now, and I'm, I'm 25. Like I said, like it's tears gap, I'm fit and ready. Like I said before, this is my time, and I'm ready to show from that. Echo, final word to yourself, you have an opponent who <coughs> thinks he's getting you at the right time, just, just like before, right? Yeah, just like before. Rolls Royce engine, put holes in it, or keep going. Just fuck around and find out. Uh, apologies for the language, uh, but yes, thank you very much, Echo Esmond, thank you very much, Ben Vaughan, brilliant fight for the WBO European Welterweight Championship on Saturday night. Okay, we've got a uh, debutant Commonwealth gold medalist in 2022, a decorated amateur here in Lewis Williams, uh, one of the most sought after fighters in the country, he's made the right decision, he's come to Queensbury, he's come to TNT Sports, and uh, well Lewis, great to see you. You're back in Birmingham, the city where you won your Commonwealth gold. Excited? Yeah, very excited. Um, and yeah, what a coincidence to uh, to be back here where I won gold. You know, so it's um, it's nice. It's down the road. I can get a good load of support and um, starting off on a great show. So I'm pretty privileged to be here and uh, I've joined a great team. It feels like it's been a long time coming. I remember watching you get that gold medal. Um, and that's, that was like a couple of years ago now. So what have you been doing? Have you just been kind of biding your time, training? What's been going on? Of course, I'm, I've always been training. I'm, uh, I'm constantly stuck in the gym. But I um, was heading towards the Olympics and uh, that didn't work out with, the, uh, with bad timing and so on. Uh, so uh, after that, it was always my choice to go to the professional game this year. And it's worked out. And um, yeah, so we're, here we are back in Birmingham. And what are your ambitions? Um, the same as I have in the amateurs, which is to reach the top. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's a sport you should just participate in. You, you, you've got to have your goals and, uh, and aim for the top. You know? And you're going to be in the, in the heavyweight division. Um, looking at the size of you, you certainly look like, like a heavyweight to me. It feels like you are going to be surrounded by brilliant heavyweights in the Queensbury stable it? and in the UK full stop. Yeah, it's the... Um, it's the the team that everybody's joining now, isn't it, in the heavyweight game? Um, I've been holding the weight down at cruiserweight for a while, and uh, it seemed like the right time to uh, to let myself grow into the right weight class. So um, I'm a lot more comfortable now, and uh, I'm just going to build my experience in this this new weight and, um, and build a great career. You know, it's the, the heavyweights everybody's wanting to watch. And you're from Leamington Spa. Now, there's a bit of boxing history there. Randolph Turpin was from there. Of course, he did. Sugar Ray Robinson all those years ago. I guess you, you're trying to make your name a little bit and be a, another big boxing legend from Leamington Spa. Yeah, it's a, it's a massive name to, to follow up from, isn't it? Uh, Randolph Turpin beating Sugar Ray Robinson. So, um, yeah, some big set of shoes to try and fill. But, yeah, it's, it's great that we've got some history behind it. And um, it's great to, to bring boxing back to Leamington again, you know? So um, everybody's supportive in my own time. <laughs> and, um, I just carry on doing what I can do and and use that support the best I can. Decent opponent on Saturday for, for your pro debut. I, I think it's a, it's actually quite a good opponent for your pro debut, Lamar Griggs. He's had a, a draw with Hosea Stewart. He's taken a few good heavyweights the distance. Uh, what are you expecting on Saturday? Um, he looks game, doesn't he? So um, that, that's that's a lot better for me, I think. Um, I don't want anybody that's going to just tuck up and, and take shots. Uh, I want something that's, you know, I'll, that's worth my experience. So um, I'm excited for it and I'm, I'm glad I've got uh, a decent opponent. Good stuff, thank you Lewis. We are excited for your professional debut. <coughs> Lewis Williams in action on Saturday Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Okay, let's move up to the top table. The return of Chantel Cameron, as I mentioned at the top, very simply one of the best fighters in the world. She is on a quest to regain the undisputed crown. She's currently the WBC interim champion and she needs to keep hold of that to keep the dream alive. But there is a lady here in Patricia Burgold who wants to ruin that dream, who has her own ambitions, former world champion herself. And I'm going to start with you, Patricia. The opponent that you have on Saturday, widely seen as one of the best fighters in the world. A big challenge. How are you feeling about this challenge? Um, it's, uh, it's going to be a tough fight. She's a great fighter. Uh, I'm looking forward to Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a... A uh, great test for me because I'm coming from welterweight down to, to 
lightweight, so um, yeah, it's gonna be a good fight, I think. What are your advantages over Chantel? Um, I'm taller. <laughs> Anything else? You're a decorated amateur, former world champion. There must be things that you've seen where you think, I do this better than her, or, or not. Yeah, but I don't think I will tell them here. <laughs> very wise, very wise. Um, the, another one for you is, the last time you were in the UK, you took on Natasha Jonas. You were unsuccessful that night. You lost your world title. Is the fighter that we're going to see on Saturday much better than the fighter we saw a couple of years ago? Less pressure on you now, perhaps? Mm, yeah, uh, and um, I did my training a little bit different for this fight than for the Natasha fight. And um, yeah, I think I uh, evolved as a fighter after that night. So. I think it's gonna be a different, different kind of fighter in me uh, this Saturday. Okay, let's bring in your opponent, Chantel Cameron. Uh, great to see you as always, Chantel. And this is a real fight. This is this is a live one. But you only since you've joined Queensbury, it's only been real fights. This is what you want, right? Yeah, hundred percent. My manager knows as well that I only want the toughest fights. And obviously, the moment it's kind of waiting around for um, to see what happens with the one forty belts, but. I wanted a tough fight, so I asked for Patricia, and I think it's going to bring the best out of me. What, what do you, I mean, she wouldn't really tell us what she does well, or perhaps better than you, but perhaps you can give us some insight. You've what, followed her career in the amateurs as well. Very good fighter. What, what are you expecting on Saturday? Yeah, I think we're actually boxing the amateurs back back in the day on GB days. Um, it's going to be a good fight. She's very technical. She's got the experience, but I think I suit the <laughs> program a lot better. And last time for your Queensbury debut, everything everything was new. It was new promoter, it was new training team, new TV channel, new everything. Now you've, you're a bit more settled in. How's the mindset heading into this? Yeah, a lot better this time. I think uh, I didn't ever think with a massive jump. I didn't, didn't take any baby steps, but um, got it out of the way now and settled in and just ready to get the ball rolling again on Saturday. And that extra time with Grant Smith now, like how are you feeling as a fighter? Is this, is this the best Chantel Cameron ever? I feel like everyone says that, so I feel, feel like when I say that, everyone's heard that, and sometimes people lie and say that, but I really is probably the best shape I've been in, the fittest I've been, and I've been doing nothing but making progress in the gym, so I just got to put it into action on Saturday because it's all shoot. Okay, let me bring Patricia back in here. Uh, Patricia, you've, you've been a world champion in the past, interim title on the line here. Just how determined are you to become a world champion again in your career? <laughs> Very. Uh, I didn't come... Uh, I, I come to win, uh, obviously. Uh, I want to be a world champion again, so I'm going to give her a good fight Saturday. We look forward to it. And Chantel, I guess for you, this is a, an opportunity to send out a bit of a statement that there's world title belts out there <laughs> and they'll be in your grasp very, very shortly, right? Yeah, 100%. I'm going to show everyone again that I am the best 140 pounder. Okay, we look forward to it. Uh, prediction? Anything you want to? I didn't think so. I think worth a go, worth a go. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Chantel. Cameron, brilliant fight. WBC interim right. title on the line on Saturday. Okay, let's talk about the main event. Let's talk about these gentlemen here. Uh, so far, the build-up's been pretty bubbly. There's actually a face-off that these guys have done with Carl Frampton, which is out right now on the TNT Sports YouTube page. So check that out. Plenty of needle, plenty of back and forth. I've watched it, so some of my questions are kind of building up from that. I'm going to start with uh, Shabazz Massoud, the challenger for the IBO world title here in front of Liam Davison. It's 48 hours now. Uh, a lot of the build-up, you said the talking's done, the talking's done. It's not done yet, but it's nearly done. You must be very excited. Yeah, alhamdulillah. It's been an amazing come. My team put me through hell, man. We've been working and uh, inshallah, two nights left, Saturday, let's go. Are you ready to end this feud and end the world title reign of Liam Davis, Chavez? Yeah, 100%, man. 100%. Underdog? Heading into this, people writing you off, the bookies are writing you off from what I've seen as well. Do you prefer it that way? I've always performed better when I'm the, when I'm the underdog. And one of the reasons why I started boxing was something to prove, and this is another thing for me. I've got to prove everyone wrong. 
And one of the things Liam Davis said in this face-off with Carl Frampton at now on TNT Sports YouTube uh, is that he said he's going to run right through you, but no one runs through Shabazz Massoud, right? Never. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring in the champion. Um, he's wished you luck in terms of running through. We're nearly there now. How are you feeling about this one, Liam? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Like I say, can't wait to go. 48 hours and uh, me and him can settle, settle it. This is a fight that you asked for. I think someone might be taunting you in the crowd there, someone from Shabazz, Shabazz's team, and we might have a repeat of what happened before. Let's try and keep tempers down. But this is a fight that you asked for, Liam. Why? Why did you want to fight with this man here in Shabazz Masood? Well, because he's undefeated, isn't he? He's a good fighter and there's a lot of talk that he's the next best, so I'm always up for a challenge and um, I want to fight. You get one go at this boxing, so I want to prove I'm the best and Saturday night I'll do that. Feels like this rivalry, I know, you know there's been back and forth, there's been bits here and there, there's been the two amateur wins, but it feels like there's something deeper than that. You've kind of alluded to it a couple of times. You keep saying, I'm a product of Brian Davis. This is deeper. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, do you know what it is? Shabazz, he's the same as me. We're just chasing dreams. We've done this all our life. It's all the people get involved. I've, I've been having bare messages to myself. I've, I've been out with my wife. People drove past shouting shit at me. And uh, it's okay, do you know what I mean? I can take it. Saturday night, you're going to see the best me. Like people are shouting, like, this ain't about you, bro. Just let your man, if this is your mate's time, do you know what I mean? Just sit there and enjoy it, buy your ticket, that's it. Shabazz, you've been pretty adamant that your style is all wrong for Liam Davis. Uh, give us a final bit of insight as to why that is. You're going to see on Saturday, man. Just tune in. Talk is done. Can we get some more talk? <laughs> <laughs> Ready. Is this, has this been the best camp ever? You, you've done things that you haven't had to do before, you've had to prepare like never before for a man like this? Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Like, like I said, he is a good fighter and I've had to push myself to my limits. And Alhamdulillah, I'm there and I'm ready. <coughs> Liam, you said at this face off with Carl Frampton that you said that he's, uh, you know, there's no real animosity with Shabazz. It's, it's people around him maybe been taunting you. You mentioned the DMs there. You said that his mates have talked him into a bad situation. Have his mates talked him into a bit of a beating on Saturday? Well, yeah, of course. Like, it's unfortunate for him. He's got to be the one that's got to take it. And uh, I wish him all the best, because trust me, I'm on a mission, man. I'm fired up, ready to go. We've done a lot of talking, the fight's sold. I ain't, I ain't really... Everyone sees me as talking shit and come across arrogant, but... Like I said, people mess me behind the scenes. I just said it when the cameras are on and in public to people, because that's how I am. And uh, now the talk is done Saturday night. I can't wait. And still, Liam Davis, knock out. He's here, isn't he? See, see, that's what I mean. Like, see, see, see. See, that's what I'm about then. You see what I mean? It's ain't about you. You use amateur boxers. You use amateur boxers. You pull out merchant, bro. Your man's a pull out merchant, bro. Oh, yeah, pull out merchant, man. Oh, my back. Hold me back. Can't make weight. Hold me back. There are members of Shabazz's team who are calling out to Liam, telling him to make sure he turns up, etc., etc. So that's what Liam's. Talking about now we're here, we're going to see, like, say, you say what you want, man. It's, it's no problem to me. No problem to me at all. People give criticism all the time to fighters. And it's always funny because it's from people that have had, like, a few amateur fights, never done nothing with their careers, you know what I mean? So, so say what you want, bro. It's Saturday night, you're going to see. Shabazz, do you, think, uh, do you think there's a chance that Liam is underestimating you? I, I saw uh, he kind of scoffed at the idea of you potentially knocking him out in, in this face-off. But I've seen you knock over an opponent in your last fight. I've seen you stop Jack Bateson, but plenty of momentum heading into a fight with you. Has he underestimated your power? Um, 
the way it's looking, like, it does look like he's underestimating me, but if he's underestimating, like Echo said earlier, fuck around and find out, innit? <laughs> and also, Shabazz, something that we've talked about is that, you know, in these face-offs, Liam can get quite intense. Liam, I think you've agreed that you can get emotional in some of these face-offs. <laughs> Do you think that his head could go on Saturday and it's all a bit too much, too much emotion, too hot-headed? What do you think? It might have gone already, but... <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him so loud to all his mates, really. It's always his attitude changes when his mates are here. He's dead quiet Monday. It's, it's me, you on Saturday. He didn't Not say me. nothing. I no, rolled it's up me, on you my own. It's me, you I on Saturday. It's me, you on Saturday. I'm on my own. I don't need no uh, gang, like, backing me, gassing me up. I'm here to fight, man. You I've done it all my life. Yeah, no, yeah. We well, you have respect to the message. That's, that's all I'm saying. No bandit. Okay, okay, fellas, let's let's keep it between the fighters, please. Uh, Liam, let, let me uh, let me ask you this. You've told him a few times you, you plan on just folding him. Is that is that really the plan here? You've said that it could be over quite quickly. Do you see this as potentially a very short night on Saturday? I sit, like I said, I'm just speaking speaking facts. When I hit people, they can fold. That's it. I put out boxing. People forget I'm a good boxer. I might do that. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win. Do you know what I mean? And quiet all these haters up, man. Trust me, two days, you're going to find out. Uh, I was on the phone to Frank. Unfortunately, Frank can't be here today. His, his back's all, all over the place, but he will hopefully be here on Saturday. I was on the phone to him this morning, um, and his message is like he very much believes in you. Of course, you've seen you're one of the six faces on that poster the other day, <laughs> one of the British boxing stars of the future very much. So it feels like there's big, big nights ahead should you come through Shabazz Masu. So, so much on the line for you. Yeah, but I don't bring pressure. This is what I love to do, do you know what I mean? It makes me more hungry, and um, it's a big night Saturday. That's all that matters to me. This one's going to be the sweetest one of them all. You're adamant your style's all wrong for Shabazz? <coughs> no, I just, I'm just adamant that I knock people out. That's it. And that's what I'm going to do Saturday night. Any thoughts, Shabazz? Nah, I'm just ready to go, man. We'll see you on the night. Okay, listen, Shabazz, I want a final message from you to Liam Davis. This will be the final, final message. What have you got to say? We'll see you Saturday. Liam, champ? I've got no words. No, I'm at all. I just wanted to see you there. Shades of Arthur Better be here in Liam, from Liam Davis. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to do some face offs down the front. I think we've got plenty of clips from today. Uh, this is the main event, Liam Davis, Shabazz Masood, two unbeaten British fighters here in Birmingham, TNT Sports, 7 o'clock on Saturday, IBO World Super Bantamweight Championship on the line. Thank you. Cheers.